Hi there, Guy from Arturia here. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the new features you'll find in Synclavia V version 2.0. One of the new additions in Synclavia V is the possibility to play back samples. You can load a sample on the carry oscillator by either selecting one already present in the software or importing your own. You can do this either by navigating or by drag and drop. So now I'm going to load up a drum loop. As you can hear, playing different notes on the keyboard re-pitches the sound using the original Synclavia algorithm, so you get that vintage feel of the original machine. This is called pitch scaling. Let me play you some of the presets that come with this new version that you use sample playback. Another great new feature in this software is the inclusion of a resynthesis engine. This feature lets us create a synthesized sound based on a sample. It does this by extracting parameters from the sample along with the spectral content at key points and uses that data to create a resynthesized sound. Once the resynthesis is performed, the sample can be dropped since the sound that we have is now purely composed of synthesis parameters. So let's try this. I'm loading up a sample available on the sample library that comes with the Synclavia V. Let's say this marimba sample. Once the sample is loaded, we can enter the resynthesized sound on the carrier, uh, the modulator, or both. Let's do it on the carrier here. Now the timeline aspect changes, and I'm able to place markers that will then become frames. Here you can hear the sound is not really similar to the marimba sound we came from. This is because we only have one active frame corresponding it to the beginning of the sample. If I add some analysis markers, we will start to come closer to the original. Now the sound is quite like a marimba. I can validate my analysis by clicking on the apply button and this brings us back to the synthesis tab. We can now see some frames on the timeline which corresponds to our analysis markers. If we examine the content of the frames, we can see that the first one is composed of a lot of harmonic coefficients and the more we move forward, the fewer there are. This is the spectral content we extracted from the sample file. You can also note that each frame volume is also different, and that's because the amplitude envelope is also extracted from the sample analysis. Now we have a resynthesized sound, the sample file can be dropped by clicking the trash icon in the sample tab. This doesn't delete the file, don't worry. Now if I play, I still have my resynthesized marimba sound. So remember, this isn't a sample, this is a purely synthesized sound using the new resynthesis engine and we can modify any parameter as we would on a regular patch. For example, I can modify the speed of the whole timeline thanks to the frame speed offset coefficient. Another cool feature in this update is the ability to sync the timeline to your DAW's BPM and loop between frames. So starting from a blank patch, over here you see the loop and sync parameters that have been added with this update. So let's enable the BPM sync. And you see that the grid appears on the timeline. 
So we're going to write a sequence, but we don't want the frames to crossfade between each other, but we want their content to suddenly change for each frame. To do so, we're going to let the software know that we want the placement between frames to be delay times instead of fade time with this little selector here. Then we can place our frames, activate the loop and set the loop endpoints. Now we have a looping sequence, we can edit the frames pitches and of course change the spectral content of each frame. And now obviously if we change our DAW's BPM, this will be matched in Synclavia V. Let's hear some of the presets that come in the new version of Synclavia V that use this feature. So that was just a quick tour of some of the new features in Synclavia V, and we look forward to hearing what you make with it. Bye for now.